The year is 1942. In the space of three months starting in June, German offensives into the Caucasus and south of the Don River have advanced very quickly. German Army Group B has reached Stalingrad despite Stalin's Order 227 saying not a step back. Already in September, street fighting is a grim everyday reality. The Soviet 62nd Army commanded by General Chuikov is hanging on to a few small bridgeheads on the west bank of the Volga River. The city lies in ruins, but the fighting continues. Conditions have changed dramatically. From fighting over entire suburbs, the fighting is now about single streets or even single houses. If the Germans want to get to the Volga, they will need to get past Pavlov's house first. This building will play a major part in the hellish struggle for control of the ruined city. It dominates the square around it and becomes the main obstacle between the Germans and the river, not far from a ferry crossing. In this mission, General Chuikov will brief you on taking the house with your men and... Well, here we are, a new DLC for Cult Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront, known as Scorched Earth. It's 1942, Pavlov's house is what we're going to take and hold against the Germans during the Battle of Stalingrad. So welcome aboard, good to see you all here. Thanks for leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more awesome World War II real-time strategy games. This one stands out amongst one of my favorites in addition to, well... Also, Metal War Assault Squad, and then another that's not really World War II, of course, the base game for this, Bolt to Arms. Many, many more World War II games out there, and really great to see strategy games getting so much more support, and this one getting some more DLC. Handcrafted goodness from the developers who've already delivered their first DLC on the battles of Finland during World War II through the Lapland War and Continuation War, and now a new DLC for more content during the midst of the war on the Eastern Front. We're going to go ahead and push up now and try to go on our first objective, which is to capture a position to the east. We're going to get up there right away. I'm going to try to get this MG in the position. Uh, sir, could you go ahead and die real quick? Thanks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and push up the road and see if we can get to the uh, crossroads just before it. Looks like there's a lot of enemies on the road. You can see them on the mini-map there in the upper left corner. And, as, of course, you just saw a moment ago. If you haven't seen this game before, it has some really cool third-person, also first-person uh like shooting abilities to it. Now, I remember Pavlov's house the first time playing it in a Call of Duty mission long ago for, I think, the original Call of Duty. Maybe it was United Offensive, but that was Solid Dude, and it inspired a hell of a lot of the other Call of Duty games. And also, I remember playing it as a mod for Blitzkrieg, another PC real-time strategy game from long ago, from like 2003 or so. It was really cool to play that one and uh, learn a lot more about the battles on the Eastern Front, as up until that time, it was all just D-Day, 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 and then basically the war was over, according to the Western side. But I knew there was more to it, and had heard of Stalingrad and other things, but of course, each battle itself was its own war over each inch of territory. Looks like we have ourselves a machine gunner here. I'm gonna to try to keep pushing up and keep pressure on this building, yeah. We got a little bit of uh, machine gun fire off the uh, building there, or at the building. There we go, let's go ahead and get our MG into position. Luckily we have a guy here with a Maxim machine gun. We've been sent in as kind of a small recon group to go find supplies and either recapture our own or capture supplies from the enemy. Either way, it'll be a good thing. And then eventually, we'll have to push somewhere to capture Pavlov's house. The initial objective is not our main objective, so uh, we'll see what we can do. Also, I want this uh, AT guy to stay alive, so let's kind of keep him behind. Plus, he might also try to use his AT rifle. And if we encounter a vehicle, I don't want him to do that. But uh, we're about to capture supplies, so maybe it'll be all right at the start. Let's push aggressively now. So we're clear up to the crossroads. This is our objective here, where all these spotlights are. The Germans occupy this building, and boom, the supplier here where you see those yellow circles. We're going to have to push towards the northeast side in order to capture those supplies and make sure the enemy dies to death. Yeah, that's uh, actually a good tactic. Pretty, pretty good tactic of war. I kind of just made it up myself, actually. You can use that one for your future uh, gameplay. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and keep pushing towards the uh, center as well. So there's a large square of just basically a road. Well, I would assume it was once a park, and now it's no man's land with mud and dirt everywhere. So it's not really great to go in there. We're going to try to avoid it if we can. But I did notice a couple of white triangles on the map, which means that there could be MGs nearby. We could use these to... Yep, there's definitely an MG-34 on that motorcycle. And it uh, looks like, oh, we got an enemy vehicle here, too. So our AT guy might be a little bit more useful than I originally thought. All right, let's go ahead and get pushing here. We're going to go towards the... Uh, I'm actually going to try to capture this high ground here. There's a little bit of a high ground, a dip upwards. 
that we can actually use to fire down on the enemy, possibly in their trenches. We're going to try to keep them from coming out of wherever they are. Yeah, we got riflemen firing at them, keeping them in, at bay. We also need to keep Pavlov alive as well. He's here, uh, and we're going to actually try to... Well, he's... I think this guy right here. Uh, although it doesn't say, I think if he dies, we'll lose the mission. Uh, I see Pavel and... Yeah, I don't see the actual guy, but he's got to be around here somewhere unless he's on the MG. But regardless, let's go ahead and just act as if everybody's Pavlov and try not to lose anybody. The great thing about this game is it seems like in the new DLC there are missions now added for the Soviets and the Germans uh, in the mid-war. So I'm seeing a lot more stuff around like 40... Now there's some stuff for 42 and 44, and then it seems like a lot of stuff for 45. A lot of end-war stuff too. So like, for example, the last German... A uh, counteroffensive near uh, whichever lake it was in order to recapture uh, the oil fields somewhere in the east. It wasn't very too far from Germany, but they were trying to keep alive as long as they could. And also, of course, the Battle of Kursk and the Siege of Sevastopol from the Germans' per uh, perspective as well. So it'll be kind of interesting to see giant uh, battleship guns being deployed too. And that's one of the things I liked about the original Men of War is that it had a lot of those like very desperate defenses and uh, that seemingly will be kind of more of a siege of a desperate defense. But in this case, we've just got ourselves a small detachment of, what, six men or so? All right, let's go ahead and get pushing. We're, gonna, we're trying to move as quickly as possible so that way the Germans don't get a lot of time to counterattack us. If we get a little closer here, the German vehicles are probably going to come down on us uh, pretty quickly. So that one little vehicle up there in the north, we're going to try to... Well, we're going to try to avoid them as long as we can, but we're going to have to have a confrontation. So let's go ahead and have a physical discussion with that vehicle right now. We can try to lure him over. I'm going to put our AT gunner in this building over here. You can see that big old PTSD rifle on him, as I call it, the PTRS-41. Very good vehicle uh, smacker right there. Good to take out armored cars. Very good with its uh, semi-auto fire. And if you remember the mission from Call of Duty, you essentially have to like take the second floor, third floor of a building and... I just continuously lob shells, AT uh, rounds out at enemy tanks. So, it is likely that we're going to see a large force of enemy tanks here. We'll see probably like Panzer threes and fours, probably some light vehicles too. And interestingly at the start, did you notice there was a captured French tank? I didn't actually know if they used that or not at uh, Stalingrad, but I suppose things were transferred everywhere wherever they were needed. It was just the numbers game really for a long time. All right. Well, we're probably getting low on supply now, so we need to push a little bit more aggressively and see if we can use our grenades. Bullets are getting low. Let's take a little supply check. Yeah, we're doing okay, but I want to keep pushing a little more, a little more f further in the center and on the flanks. I think we're going to leave these troops over here. There are some troops kind of thinking about maybe possibly coming over. Yep, they are. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn our attention that away. Maybe we can put the MG in there and we'll cover the uh, AT riflemen. Nice to hear our SMG firing and our LMG firing. Actually, it sounded like it. Oh, unless the Germans are using a captured uh, PPSH or something. Regardless, let's go ahead and try to capture the area here. Looks like they're on that light. Foolish of them. Oh yeah, that reminds me of the original Call of Duty mission, too, of the U.S. paratroopers dropping down and capturing that anti-aircraft gun in the uh, Saint No Hablo Inglés, I believe. <laughs> I have no idea. I forgot what it's called. All right, looks like our MG's getting a little stuck. Let's see if we can get him moving. Yeah, so similar to Men of War Assault Squad, Call to Arms Gates Hell Ostfront still has those traditional pathing problems. You do got to play babysitter a little bit on your troops, but that's okay. And there's some light fences here, so it's just... Wow, that fence is, like, eating up those rounds? Okay, wow. All right, LMG's doing a good job of pinning down those enemy troops in the trenches. Let's get a little closer now. Has this gun been retaken? Yep. Well, silly Germans. I guess they're expecting a air raid. Thank God they weren't, like, uh, I don't know, Black 38s or... It, even a mounted machine gun would have been a nightmare here. I would love to capture that vehicle from the Germans, but more importantly, I don't think I want the vehicle. I think I just want the gun off it. It's just going to be too difficult to defend, I think, with it. But we could get the boys and pile in there. So that'd be cool. 
All right, well, regardless, the MG will cover if they happen to cross through the fence line there. So that'll kind of save our backside here. Right, let's push up a little bit. Enemy's got MG 34s firing at us. I can hear them. Enemy fire is intensifying. All right, let's get our MG gunner up here. He's out of ammo, unfortunately. Yeah, I was right to try to push. We got to get that trench line ASAP. What we could do is lob an AT grenade right here and blow up and... Oh, that's a mounted MG. Okay. If we can keep our heads down, we might be able to lob a grenade up in there. See how close we can get. Meanwhile, the enemy is attempting to cross. You can see another soldier here and here. So let's keep watching that backside with that MG. MG's going to be pretty helpful over here maybe later to get the enemy out of the houses, but the trench, it's not going to really help us. Kind of hard to shoot through. Okay, we need to rush this position. Let's go ahead and throw a grenade. He might not actually uh, flee if he's on a mounted MG. Ah, he didn't realize until it was too late. He was busy with his MG. Oh, let's get a little closer here. So our goal is not to, you know, liberate Stalingrad. We are not here to kill every enemy. Our goal is simply to capture the supply cache as we were instructed. We'll go and do that right away. MG, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up now. I think we just killed another guy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Three are dead now from that MG. There's still one guy, maybe two inside this building here. And another one over there. So we're not going to worry about the southeast side. We're going to push up towards the northeast. The objective we were given. You know, actually, this gun is pretty slow. If we bring it up there, we're probably just going to have to turn right back around. I don't believe that's our objective. Otherwise, it would have told us to defend or capture Pavlov's house. But this is a pretty good position to defend, too. Shame for the Germans. They were sucked at it. They sucked at it. Let's get a... Uh, Let's get an MG for one of our guys here. Let's get our MG medic. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I hear a vehicle. Yeah, it's coming over now. I completely forgot about you, sir. Well, if we can capture it intact, brownie points, if we can capture it without firing AT rounds, brownie points, we might just be able to pop them. Oh, they didn't even know. That should have been a headshot there. Whoa, bro, where are you going? Nice. All right, a free gift from the Germans. That's nice. Oh, uh, boy. All right, we got some wounded now. Go ahead and see if we can give ourselves a couple of bandages here. No, 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 get back in there. There we go. All right, so we're severely lacking on supply now, but we're right here. We've got all the supply we need. Plus, I think we can actually capture this ammo crate and bring it with us. Um, looks like there's only one. We can actually pick these up and transport them. Unfortunately, we can't put them into a truck and bring them to where we need to go. We can only, like, transport them by hand. If they're, you know animated to be by hand then they have to be transported that way a thousand rounds remaining with the maximum and it just cleared out the entire uh, area here very nice i will leave it there okay well now we have a machine gun that's great let's go ahead and get our mg gunner on that mg you can have him turn the car around 7.92 mg34 for the win. Okay. So now we can lob grenades at the Germans and either flush them out of the trenches or... There we go. Nice. All right, just a few more Germans inside the buildings, but again, we're mostly just here for the supply. Oh, 
Nice, got him. I don't see any other Germans. Not inside the building anyway. Quickly now, reload. Alright. Ooh, T-34. Don't think we'll be able to capture that one, unfortunately. Would be nice. Where are we getting shot at from? I'm going to take cover here. Alright. Silly of us to bring up our medic to do the clearing, but honestly, it's like we've got uh, an AT gunner and a squad lead we don't want wounded either, but... I think we'll be all right. Usually my medics die first during defenses, but luckily with this being yeah, an offensive, we're probably okay. All right, let's bring the boys up. Everybody needs ammo. We'll grab that truck on the way out. And actually, maybe we'll just uh, get rid of the uh, MG on there. We'll have somebody else carry that. Let's get our MG gunner back up. We'll have him take cover here. Record time taking that building. Very nice. Only a few minutes. Now we've got AT rounds. We've got rifle rounds, SMG. I think we can also replenish our... Um, grenades and such, and maybe grab ammo for this bad boy with a thousand rounds. Take a look at our individual here. Oh, looks like he's got uh, rounds for our MG gunner. Okay. So if our MG gunner runs out, we can add more. We also have uh, entrenching tools. So in this game, we're actually able to entrench, and there's a few other things that they've added to this game, too, for those types of things. Oh, looks like somebody, AI went a little derpy, and they went over there. Is that our machine gunner? I was trying to get him to stand here. I don't know why he ended there. He probably got a grenade lobbed at him. That's my bad. Still funny, though. But yeah, there's a lot of new defenses, including those battleship guns that are used at the uh, defense of Sevastopol by the Soviets. And it's really cool to actually see um, a diverse amount of defenses. The fin Finnish DLC allowing you to do some things with boulders and being able to build uh, larger bunkers and such, depending on... How much time you got. So all these DLCs are looking good. And the Scorched Earth just bringing even more mud and destruction. I mean, look at how cool this looks. We just disabled the uh, the HUD alone. And just kind of look at the game like that. Pretty amazing. We got somebody around. Yeah, like look at this, for example. Very cool picture already. Alright, well, uh, we have one more enemy here that just kind of has to die for us to accomplish the goal. Although we've kind of already completed what we needed to do. He could be in this side of the house. There he is, I see him. Second story window, far left side. We could go into the buildings. Oftentimes it's just easier to do that. Pretty easy. Ah, there we go. Mission complete. Next objective is to take the strategic apartment building overlooking the entire region. That would be Pavlov's house. Let's go. Oh, looks like we actually have to capture it, not just, like, walk in. All right, how are we doing on supply with this thing? Well, yeah, it looks like we've taken grueling losses, too. Okay, um... Well... There's not a lot of supply left with this, so we'll go ahead and just leave it where it is. And we'll try to rush back to our MG. So if we need supply, we can come here. I don't think we can transport that... And there's probably not too much valuable stuff there for us. So, let's grab our MG. And there was also a dead German over here with an MG, so we'll try to get MGs for defense. Let's go ahead and have our <laughs> medic grab an MG. Oh, nice. They can carry all of it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab... Yep, go ahead and heal up if you need to. Now let's have our... I think we actually have to defend this guy. This is, I think supposed to be Pavlov, but uh, I'm trying to use controls to see where the dead German may have been with the MG. There it is. Alright, MG-34 drum mag. Good, another weapon for us. You know, we could probably resupply these by... I'm not sure if we're able to get more ammunition that way. But it's worth a try. Anything else in here? Just repair kits and fuel. It's kind of worth jumping back here one more time. 
I think we still want rifles. I think we still want SMGs, but now we have two MG34s and that uh, DP29 or whatever it is, that drum disc based MG. Pretty cool design. All right, hopefully everybody's got what they need. All right, time to leave. Let's go back to our MG and we'll bring that with us for the offensive onto this position. I think what we're gonna get yeah, we're going to just basically take the road. We're going to go all the way to here, push back to this railroad line, and then we'll push on either side of the house and kick them out of these trenches here. The Germans have some troops in the trench, but that's about it. That's pretty much the only thing that's going to stop us. We also have this MG here for the motorcycle, so if we need to, we'll come back here too. So there's a little motorcycle right there with an MG34 on that too. So if we get more reinforcements, which well, I would hope we would to defend this large building, we'll see. Now, since it's our first time, too, we don't know where the enemy will attack from, so it's likely that after we capture this building, we'll need to defend it. So they could come from the north, the east, south, and west. We could be uh, surrounded on 365 degrees, and uh, reinforcements, if they arrive, might be where we were before, so we'll hope to see that. Okay, let's go ahead and push up the road. We'll try to push it to this building. I think this is where we began, here. Yeah, next to this destroyed AT gun. Unfortunately, we can't capture that. If you see a white triangle on the map, it is something you're likely able to repair or capture, but if it is uh, if it is not there, it's pretty much impossible. I wonder if this moves faster with two men. Uh, let's get our AT guy on there. See if we can assist. Have two guys dragging that around. Maybe somebody to carry the ammo. That guy's got to carry a thousand rounds and a maximum. He's got it pretty rough, so let's give him a little assistance. Get you can snap on there. All right. Yes, because. There we go. Hopefully that's a little faster now. I think it was able to go about four miles per hour before. Now it's up to nine. So that's probably a good little decision right there. Plus the AT rifle man. We want <laughs> that man needs to keep his rounds for the tanks. He is very eager to shoot at the Germans with anything he's got. Okay, I can hear some fire here. Try to fire that away still staying in cover and our MG go ahead there you go perfect alright spread out a little bit boys we want to move before we encounter a vehicle uh, that's going to be soon keep leapfrogging up the roadway let's go Grab positions on that wall. Let's grab some cover. Maybe we get close with a grenade. In cover, bro. In cover. Nice to hear that maximum firing off. Down to 750 rounds. Oh, nice. Good job, boys. Outmaneuvered and outgunned. Very nice. All right, on to the southern side of the building. We're going to try to flank what looks to be a lumber yard, I guess. They've got some wood stored there for some reason. Push up with our Rifleman 2 to assist. We'll try to keep groups together here. Set up a position there. Nice. Ooh, this is going to be beautiful. One more out there. Ooh, those MGs are brutal. That was rough. Okay, there's one more soldier here. Luckily, the Germans do not occupy the building. Yeah, I can remember in the Call of Duty mission, too, as well, taking some of these positions. Man, if they ever remastered that, I hope it doesn't suck. If they just kind of 
you know, like how they did Modern Warfare, but I hope uh, that they, I don't know, just make it good, you know? Like, hey, Call of Duty, but like, new, but good. Don't do anything crazy. You know? Make it good. Those games deserve some love, damn it. Alright, so I think we're good to possibly push up here. The Germans are in this trench, so if we could find a way to sneak in, there might be a good spot. These MGs are a really good way to keep them pinned down. Where are you going? Huh? You're not going back to Berlin there, buddy. Unless it's in a body bag. Actually, you're probably going to be buried in the ground. So let's get that started. Alright. Now, where's our rifleman? Oh, yeah, he's on the MG again. And that's over here. We're going to use the AT rifleman to possibly do some long range sniping, but I don't know if that's actually fully possible. Alright, so now. Let's keep pushing up here. Hopefully we get something to uh, defend with. I Actually, you know what? Before we even finish this area, it might be wise for us to start digging in. I don't know if the Germans immediately counterattack, but honestly, we have a huge building here, but I don't trust it. There are top floors that during the briefing they mentioned we should put our AT riflemen into, but if the enemy attacks from 20 or 365 degrees, sorry, I was thinking of 24 hours on a clock, but uh, you know, if they attack from 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, wherever, uh, our troops might not be able to move through this building. The AI of Cult Arms and Men of War Assault Squad might require them to go out, run down the street, and then back in. So it's not like they can switch easily from one side of the building to the other within the building. They might have to go outside. So we might have to play this a little differently based on game mechanics. Let's go ahead and pop and drop there. And is that a Panzer IV? Three, it looks like. What is that other thing? Oh, it's a... I thought it was like a weird machine gun or something. It's just metal. Damn. Too bad we can't get a Panzer IV or something. Well, time to start lobbing. There we go. Got a guy there pretty wounded. Right, let's bring everybody up now. So now we just got to clear the end of the trench. So if the enemy counterattacks... I could imagine this being a good area to defend. We'll be able to look at both sides. Wow, we got a lot of enemy weapons we can claim here. Let's see if we can get that MG up pointing down towards the trench. We're going to try to point it towards the northwest. Guys wounded again. Nice job, boys. Excellent clear on that. Excellent clear. Damn, and it even accomplished the objective. Good work, comrades. Take positions around the building. The Germans will want to take it back. Such a strategic spot. Hell yeah, they will. Let's get our AT rifleman off this. I think he's here. Oh. Keep on there. Hold the building at all costs. Oh, damn. The counterattack begins. Oh, reinforcements. I'm detaching... Uh, third machine gun company to reinforce the position. You remain in command of the building. Keep it safe. All right, roger that, sir. Datavarish. All right, cool. Now we've got ourselves a whole squad and two machine guns as well. So they were not just like LMGs, but HMGs we can wheel into position. Good. All right, I think we should put one maybe on the road. We, oh, actually, this is a pretty good spot to set up a uh, an ambush. We'll kind of try to create a defensive... Oh, German counterattack in five minutes. Let's slow it on down, boys. All right, now we go into slow-mo mode. So here's what I'm going to spend my time doing. we got about five minutes that we can turn into about 15 if we slowly put our troops into position and take advantage of all of the, uh, you know, well, essentially this is like troops taking their own initiative. That's how I like to th uh, see it in this game is when you're... Telling you know, going into slow motion and telling your troops what to do in this mode, it's almost as if you kind of told everybody, "Hey, this is going to be the plan when we get there." You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and put some of these. I don't really trust these fences, honestly, because a foxhole. If an enemy soldier or an enemy tank gets close to that, we can lob a grenade at it, AT grenade or 
a, well, anti-infantry grenade. Like a, maybe a captured German grenade and destroy, completely destroy like a half-track, so that'd be cool. So they mentioned we could put our troops up in the building, so MGs might be up there in a good spot. We got medics with triage and other things that they can do. We need to defend the building at all costs. Let's just build defensive lines between the fencing. And I don't know if we got any build. Did we get engineers? Now they were ma um, machine gunners, so that's probably not going to be the case. Everybody seems to have a. Uh oh. I put it into ultra slow mode, so now the cutscene's going to be in slow mode too. <laughs> that's a good looking building, though. Comrades, engineering supplies have been found left by the Germans. I'm ordering you to... Oh, good. Reinforce the approaches of the building to improve its defensive capabilities. Oh. I see. All right. Well, let's go ahead and skip the cutscene, and we'll grab what the Germans left here under the corrugated steel. Boom. Okay, so we could find... I don't know. Maybe there's Panzer... Well, I don't think they had Panzer Shreks in 42, did they? Maybe. Let's just say there's probably bound to be AT in there. So, we need uh, some soldiers who can throw down some grenades and mines. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's a good spot, boys. All right, what I'd like these two to do is get off the MG now and try to build some defenses around it. Got it. Which they do not. But you guys can grab AT and AP mines now that your MG's in place and they can run back to that later. Any more digging? Now let's do some more digging. Can you dig it? Now I believe there's pickaxes in the game. Two engineers are more specifically set to uh, do that. Dig in deep and set up larger defenses and larger trenches. And we might be able to get something along this type of trench if we find an engineer who can do that. Unlikely, though. AT rifleman, let's go ahead and... Oh boy. I, w I wonder if we should put these guys in the building or out in the field. Honestly, to put them in the building would be great for their defense because they're up high and would might might be hard to hit. But what I'm thinking of is, uh, well, the problem with that is basically the range. They might have to be very close. And look, I tried to tell a soldier to get up in the building for MG fire, like over here. And he went over here. So I don't really like that. I think the uh, interior stuff in this game should be re kind of redesigned a little bit, but all good. We can work around that. There's plenty of ways to defend outside. <clears throat> so I think that settles it. We're going to have to do all of our defenses that way. Like outside the building. Yeah. Now we also need to find Pavlov himself. If he becomes no, no, wounded, we could have a bad time. This is uh, Caesar Kuzmin. Maxim Nazarov. Uh, what's his name? I don't know what his first name is. Is it Pavlov is his first name? I'm, I'm imagining it's this guy right here. With the whole commissar visor and stuff. Yeah. So on second thought, we will keep him in the building. But we'll probably put him, like, maybe up here. So the Germans could attack from north along... I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and assume that they're going to come from the roads. So behind us and to the northeast. Uh, which means they could easily spread out across the field. So we got to get these uh, AT mines in place. If, if we happen to have some, I'm assuming they're going to be in there. Oh, thank God. 50 AT mines. All right. We're going to place these. 18 is what we have right now. Or is that 10? Hard to tell. Go ahead and place these uh, along the road. Do one, two, three, five. Old shift to do that, by the way. That's 10. Start with that and see if you can do it. Now, infantry is going to be just as important as tanks to destroy. But the real question is, how long are we going to have to defend for? Is it going to be an hour and a half, two hours, a day? <laughs> I would assume in this game, every minute feels like an hour. If you're uh, really trying to not die to death. Alright, there's still some enemies around. Let's go ahead and place some mines here. Okay, so that's going to be 10 there. And uh, you guys are going to be in charge of the machine gun, too. Is there anything? Actually, let's check for other things. There must be, looks like a different box here in the middle. 
Get that guy a little closer. So yeah, slow motion, a good tool to be able to do as much as you can in a short amount of time. Oh, we actually get AT mines. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and ditch these pieces of ammo, because these guys are both going to have to be on the MG. You go ahead and grab some more AT mines. That's going to be our lightest ability here, is the ability to fight off tanks. We don't really have a good ability to do that. The AT rifles are cool and all, but it's not going to be like how it is in Call of Duty, where you literally hit a tank in its thickest part of the armor, and yet it still does damage. And we're not talking about health bars here. I say that, and then, you know, these troops actually have health bars, but I guess it's more about, about, like, how much trauma the body can take before these guys kind of go into shock and or need a medic. Okay, what do we got here? I think we should keep digging in. Even if we dig trenches we're not going to use, it's a good fallback position. And I believe the enemy is probably going to make us fail if we touch the... if they touch the building. So we got to make sure we don't allow that. Well, let's go for AP mines now. Now let's go ahead and try to place them maybe in the trench. Maybe the enemy will get in there. Alright, that's good. Uh, I just don't want to get close to those other troops in the northern side over here. There's uh, some troops that are in this building. No, they're in a... Where are they? Well, they're near this destroyed T-34. I wish we could use it, but we can't. There is a chance that we might be able to salvage it for weapons, though. But it would just be... Um, light stuff. Let's see if we can even... Now nah, we can't even repair it if we wanted to. Unfortunate, but that's how it is. Oh, we also have another MG at that motorcycle. I don't really think we want that. Now we have another AT infantry guy. Let's go ahead and put him in a good position. Oh, this would be great right here. A nice open view. Beautiful. Go ahead and dig in there, sir. All right, we got our, <laughs> our MG medic. We can set up our little uh, medical rally point. Let's go ahead and do that. Might be a good idea to put that there. And we'll get another medic over for this side, too. Let's go ahead and build here. Try to build in cover, but also near the front line. Important to stay near the troops yet. Try to at least be in cover for the rescuing. Alright, so we got a rifleman. MG, another MG all on the northern side. We've got AT rifle pointing kind of north and east. He can turn. Take the initiative there to pop some tanks. Let's go ahead and take a look at any other AT we have. Uh, these are the AT rifles, I believe. Nope. There we go. It looks like we can use the foxhole tools more than once. Go ahead and make a fallback position. I'm assuming if the enemy kills our troops, we're not going to be getting much of any reinforcements. Reinforcements are on their way, but... Uh, it'll be some time. Okay, so we've got a machine gun up the road. We've got some LMGs focused on the park area. We've got an MG that's going to mostly face this way. Perhaps one behind us? There might be a way to... Shoot at the Germans back here. I, uh, well, we could set up a, like a defense at the crossroads, but that could be... Misuse of valuable military resources. And I wouldn't want to do that. That would anger and hurt Tom Hanks' feelings, and I don't want to do that. All right, random shots from time to time. I wonder if those trains have anything good. This is a great thing about this game, too, is that almost everything in the game can be salvaged and used and stolen and repurposed. And given current events, I mean, you've seen militaries graciously donate uh, half their military to another military, if you know what I mean. Unintentionally, but gracious. Very kind. So that's a thing. And the Finnish campaign focuses on that heavily, too. A lot of the, uh, what is the name of that tactic? I guess bonus points to you, viewer, who is now commenting that down below. There you go, yep. I forget what it's called. Uh, we'll just go ahead and call it uh, Shadow Tactics. <laughs> they banish the enemy's equipment to the Shadow Realm. And also, I think that's a great uh, ninja game, too, isn't it? Something to do with the Shogun and the uh, ninja 
periods, although ninjas are kind of like fantasy, kind of. Anyway, regardless, let's go ahead and keep on trucking, brother. We got our troop here up here to go where? Where are you going, sir? Mining, okay. Oh, uh, boy, that's kind of close. It's a pretty good spot, though, to try to do a choke point around the enemy. Oh, wow, round landing there. These guys are aggro. If we had a sniper, that'd be great. All right, so things are going good. We've got mines being laid on the road. We're just, even in slow-mo, we're going to run out of time. This is not going to be enough time to do everything we need to. Didn't I instruct this other guy to go build a triage center here? Maybe I didn't click somewhere where that was valid. Okay. Oh, the AT gunner is doing that. Damn it, sir. Can you, like, hold fire, please? Oh, we could build a little defense here and cover anybody moving this way. Well, luckily for us, the Germans are not attacking us that are, you know, around us. The enemy that surrounded us is kind of just AFK, I guess. They're, de they're dead brain right now. And our MG crew here is still being able to plant AT mines under the enemy's nose. That's good. Got our commander here. Hope to God that's him. Now, it does give us the objective to secure him. Yakov Pavlov. It actually indicates that that's him there with the green. But it says that his name is... Okay, that's got to be changed. His name is Funikov. Yeah, that sounds like a, a fake-ass brand that's trying to be cool. Nothing, nothing fun about that. Alright, looks like the triage center is being built. AP mines are being placed. Enemy troops are kind of maybe advancing. We've kind of lured them out a little bit with uh, enemy fire. They hear enemy fire, so they're closing in. Keep placing those mines. Don't worry about the German troops. Okay. Where's our MGs? One, two... Gonna try to put these as best we can in an elevated position. Yeah, maybe we could put it here. We'll see. All right, keep the medics hidden. Uh, we do have an MG here for somebody. Maybe this rifleman. Go ahead and trade. Riflemen are great for placing mines, though. You get so many of them, and they usually don't have much supply on them. They have uh, some. Uh, medic kit and some rounds and maybe some other small stuff. Helmets in their inventory. But after that, you could basically just um, load them up with AP or AT mines and they can place them. They know how to do that. They're capable. Alright, things are good. We're down to a minute 24. I don't think there's much more we can do even if we could make the time slower. Just go ahead and make sure we've put everything into sight. Make sure we can hit everything. Now there's a little bit of a block on that MG dam. I want to see if we can push it forward. Sometimes the MG in this game can knock down stuff. It's, it acts like a vehicle. So there is a chance that we could, like, destroy a wall by running into it. Machine gun only has 250 rounds, does it? Nope, 1,000. 250 per box, I suppose. Ah, that's a much better position. Alright, so now we got to start bringing all the troops back. Actually, he still has some AT mines on him. Some already placed here. It's very difficult to see the mines in this game. I wish they would make them a little more visible. Uh, I don't know. Let's cut off this road. He's right here, so hopefully that works. Alright, so now... PPSH standing by. Cool. Rifleman, go ahead and go to the medic. The medic will be used for whenever an artillery shell or an HE round hits nearby. 
we'll be able to uh there we go we'll basically be able to um you two chat use the medic in order to heal them up oh uh oh what's going on not the start of the battle yet something important's happening I'm sending a notorious sniper to reinforce your men. Comrade Pavlov, he in young, but I, I think he meant is, but uh, has a reputation among the fascist hordes. Keep him alive and safe. Don't tell me this is Vasily Zaisev. Is that a made-up guy? I know Simo Heha was real, but I feel like nine times out of ten, the Soviet stories are... Uh, oh, Anatoly Chekhov. Okay, that could be, that could be real. I haven't heard of him. You like the guys you've never heard of are the ones who are the real heroes, you know? Not all the time, but... Alright, now we've got a sniper. Well, let's get his ass out of there. Let's bring him to the main building. So he's just kind of popped in across the street at the factory. That's cool. I guess. We've got 47 seconds remaining. We've placed as much as we could. There's still one more AT mine. Do last minute checks on anybody who's out of the defensive area. Oh boy. AP mines are a lot faster to place though, so they might actually be able to do that. And the battle might not pop off right away. Enemy reinforcements could arrive slowly. And take a little bit of time to arrive at the house. Luke, we're gonna have company! Okay, sorry. Anyway, um... Boy, I really wish we could put the sniper in this building. Like, right... Having him up here in this side would be great. I, I don't know if we could do that. If I could click this window specifically and have him here, it'd be awesome to have him look over the whole area there. Can I put him on the top floor? Now, unfortunately, I can't even click like that. I think he's just going to come into one of these windows, but we'll see. Also, how much ammo does he have? Uh, he's got quite a bit of ammo. And he's also got some handgun ammo, too, yeah. Alright, cool. So, let's get back to the MG here. You guys are ready to go back. And MG there, good. A couple extra dug-in positions here. Alright, so we have no idea where the enemy's coming from. So, this is our biggest disadvantage of not really understanding the precise location or locations of the enemy. So, we did as best we could try to protect east, southeast, and, and northeast. But the western side we kind of left abandoned. There's a large building back here that's kind of blocking our line of sight. Doesn't look like a lot of areas are passable. And the enemy might be funneled into the railroad uh, tracks to the defense on the eastern side, western side. Uh, northwestern side, that is. Alright, let's go ahead and check our troops again. Everybody's on an MG, right? Ammunition was pretty good. Oh, we switched this guy to a rifle. Or from, from a rifle to a actual MG. With a little bit of ammunition. No. Nope. Wait, oh, we only, yeah, truly we only have a little bit. Damn. Well, we'll give him the uh, MG and then see what he can do. Unfortunately, taking this building was a little bit of a resource hog. And again, we don't have a vehicle to transport stuff. We would have to have brought everyone back over to the original position to resupply. Where we were before. Oh, actually, we do have ammo. My bad. I assume that MG was fired a lot more than that. Are you... Sir, are you a betrayer? Are you a traitor, comrade? Drop this freaking rifle. Otherwise, he's going to use nothing but that. I want that MG going. All right. And the attack begins. All right, no more slow motion. Whatever happens, happens at our normal speed now. Make our defense unbreakable. All the furious attacks of the fascist troops will shatter upon the obstacles, just like the sea waves are broken by granite rocks. Okay. We have artillery. That's good. Costs us 100, so we can do it about 10 times. And there come some light enemy vehicles we might be able to capture. Cute. How adorable. As an MG crew member, we might be able to set him up to sabotage enemy vehicles and try to rush them with... Never mind. Oh, what? That thing drove right over the mine. Never mind. Wow. Good hit, boys. 
Got him on that second one. Uh-oh. Oh, nope. That's a hell no. Hit him with the arty. Please fire quickly. Quickly. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, ho. It begins. Those vehicles are way too fast. Grab some more AP mines. Okay, that should be enough. Oh, enemy units are trying to fire the machine gun now. Okay, let's get our AT rifle been going. Let's go. Keep them at bay, comrade. Oh, enemy vehicle moving. Okay, well, we've seen the power of the artillery. We may regain artillery every time we kill some fast seafood. Seafood. What do they call them? The sea stew do whatever they're gonna they're gonna die now. All integrity on that thing should be smashed. I see a lot of enemy units approaching from the east now. To the northern side. Finally, enemy vehicle hit. Forget it, we're going back over here. Good opportunity for the artillery. Go. Looks like we got a Panzer III and a captured uh, BT-7, maybe? Run, bro. Damn. Night. Oh, what? Oh. Sucks to be hit. Oh, wow. He couldn't be in a worse position. I am in danger. We're going to find another AT rifleman. Well, we're pretty close to enemy tanks. Did they... They drove their half-track into the <laughs> MG position and, like, lost traction. Interesting. Alright, that helped. Now, when you get out the MG? Let's repair. Oh, we got more vehicles. Oh, no, we got a Panzer III. Oh, boy. And a bunch of troops over here by the minefield. Oh, I really don't want to drop artillery on the minefield. It'll destroy it. Panzer III is moving. Try to track it, but screw it. Just hit it with Artie. Enemy tanks in a bad spot. Oh, we got wounded. Hell yeah. That was danger close, bro. Oh, another round. Get down. Holy hell. I think I think we got it. Alright, good. Thank goodness. I hear another beefy tank coming through. A 
Stug 3. We're going to fire at that as soon as possible. Damn medics, I wish they would do their damn job. Destroy that Stug. Come on, medics, let's go. Gotta buy time, we only have 13 minutes. Oh, that's not enough. That's not enough time for the Germans to break through. All right, looks like they're getting the hell out of there. All right, come on, medics, we gotta go. Okay, AT rifles are kind of paying attention to the northern side. Did we get a vehicle up yet? Still repairing. Nice thing about the MGs is they allow us to limp, uh, put our manpower somewhere else. They're trying to come behind the building. Yeah, it's too hot for that last medic to be in. We gotta keep the AT gunners alive. There's too much fire to safely rescue them. What else is firing? Stug's gotta go. Damn, the medic didn't even make it. Vehicle repaired. This will help us a little bit through the stationary gun. Let's go. Oh, hell, it's got a... Oh, it's got AT? Oh, damn. Hold on a second. We're in the fight. Let's go. Hold up. Come on, hit him with the squeeze. Oh boy. No, oh, sir. Private property. Oh, we got him tracked. Hell yeah. Did we lose somebody? No, we're alive, we're good. All right, we tracked his ass. That's good. Hit the other tank. Holy crap. That was lucky. Germans are coming. MG. They're coming. Broken sickle. Broken sickle. Is that the tank crew bailing? That was awesome. Damn, we have no uh, AT for that, but we do have an AT grenade. Go ahead and make use of that. Building's freaking overrun. It's just the sniper and literally Pavlov in the house, which was my favorite 80s comedy after school. There's too many tanks around here, man. I think the AT riflemen are all dead. Uh, okay. Well, it's, yeah, it's just Pavlov and the sniper now. We're just going to have to hammer these tanks. Actually, wait a minute. We, 
I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're gonna repair. Nope. Can't can't let them do that. That tank shouldn't have the type of gun depression to reach us. Ah, oh, damn, that tank's got nothing. Off the turret. Hey, rock in a hard place. Keep running, bro. Keep running. Stay out of his turret. Okay, never mind. Just stay there. Just stay there. The more the Germans wander around, the more likely they are to uh, hit a mine. Luckily, we've stopped them, but they're still needing to uh, be dead to death. Tanks back up again. If they turn... Uh, uh oh. Oh no, not this light crap. Where are my reinforcements? I have nothing. <laughs> yeah, I tried. Back inside. Oh damn, he took a hit. He's knocked out, but he's not dead. Go, bro. Can we resupply from here too? What? These actually allow your troops to resupply? I did not know that. Get your ass over here. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. The MG34 might not be able to resupply because it's German. Germans aren't allowed to have supply. This is the Soviet Union. None for you. Let's hope we can hit something. Yeah, they're ripping and dipping too much. My hope was that they would stay together. That didn't matter. It looks like we wiped out two tanks, maybe. No, no. Man down. Uh, treat Sergeant Yakov Pavlov before he bleeds to death. Well, I think... Well, wait a minute. Where is he? Oh, he fell out of the frickin' window. Oh, that's so... Uh, yeah, after he tried to commit suicide by shooting himself eight times, he also fell out of a window. Huh. Poor guy. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to get to him because we don't have uh, anybody with medical training. Our, our medics are dead to death. I could get, like, to a medic. We can try. Tank's got to go. I mean, I could set up a little tent and we could hang out. Watch the stars and tell ghost stories, I guess. Ooh, capitalism! Ooh. Oh god, oh! Nah, I don't think I can cure him. Unless the medic has some sort of training. I hear a vehicle back there. So in Metal War Assault Squad, so long as somebody has morphine, they should be able to heal or like resurrect or like revive somebody, get them you know up on their feet. Here we need somebody with actual medical training, and so unfortunately our uh, sniper he can heal himself. Oh God! They're drive. Look at how many tanks we have to stop. No freaking way! Stuke threes, Panzer four. 
<laughs> and the and the Stoop Three is like, I hate you, and is trying to drive into the building. Oh, well, I think Pavlov's going to bleed out here, boys. But let's see uh, what happens over time. Now, I believe this is the mission. Like four minutes. You know, if we had a medic or something inside the building, we would. In retrospect, that's what I'll do. Just keep somebody inside one of the rooms, and when Pavlov goes down, you just revive. However, this is kind of the real problem. Oh, nice. This is the real problem of the mission. Is like, how the hell are you going to mitigate rescuing somebody with the um, with all the vehicles moving around? So this could be a uh, damn good first attempt, for sure. Let's go ahead and try to hit those vehicles there. Really wish the artillery was much more effective against, especially these light tanks, like these uh, 38Ts or whatever. They're pretty speedy, though. Oh, good. That looked like a direct hit there. Yep. And they're bailing. No telling how long until Pavlov dies. Oh, there he goes. Not bad. Hey, we were three minutes away. That is not bad at all. Very, very good. Not bad. All right, so a little peek at what you get with this Scorched Earth DLC, if you're curious. So if you go to the, uh, from at least first glance, there seems to be new missions for the uh, Zarodnu DLC campaign, or whatever. There, there's DLCs in the campaign. So the missions that you'll play are indicated in purple. There's a few of them, including the first one there, the Pavlov's House, taking place. I think these are all um, numerical order, like what year that the battle or the operation or whatnot took place. And then as for the Germans... Uh, a couple more here, too, including the Siege of Sevastopol and also, like, the Final Offensive, which is the one about, I think it's Romania, somewhere somewhere around there, something along those lines. So much more to come for Gates of Hell Ostfront, though. If you'd like to see more, make sure you smash that like button. Thank you very much for watching and hanging out. That's a doozy. That's a tough one, and I like that. I like when they're tough like that. One small change, I think, would give us the dub. So if you've watched this for, far, put a dub down below in the comment section. Glory to Raptoria down below in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from today down below in the comment section. Thanks for leaving likes and supporting the channel like never before. Get this one up well past 1,000 for more. Call to arms, gates of hell on the channel. Thank you very much, everybody, for subscribing. Hope to see you all very soon. If we get additional keys for this to give away, by the way, the base game or the DLC, Goes to all you who are subbed, so jump on the Discord. Okay, bye.